These are randomly generated NHL players. I will be picking 20 players to build a squadron. However, each round I will only be able to see the NHL franchise the player belongs to. After the 20 players are selected, I will assemble the team and put them in franchise mode with the goal of winning the Stanley Cup. Let's get started with our first set of forwards. We have the Islanders, the Kraken, and the Flyers. Hmm, give me the player on the Kraken. Yanni Gord is a great player, but I mean, given the circumstances, would have been better to go with an outside player. You know what I mean? Next up, we have the Predators, the Sens, and the Capitals. Gotta go with the Caps, come on now. And here I find myself in a similar situation. But I do love me some Tim Winston. Next up, we have Calgary, the Rangers, and the Ducks. I am definitely going with the rags here. Okay, Leo Carlson would have been nice, but Blake Wheeler, good depth player, definitely. I'm gonna try my best to take from different teams here, and could it be Dreisaitl, McDavid, Hyman? It definitely could. Thanks, Captain Obvious. There's so many good players on the Canes as well, but I gotta go with the Oilers. You have to take that shot. Well... Once again, didn't exactly go to plan, but it's still early. Tons of time left. The Capitals again. I will refrain this time. We've got the Stars and the Coyotes. Let's go with the Dallas Stars. Hey, I'll take Captain America. He's got abilities on him. Clayton Keller, great hockey player. Dylan Strom has been a unit this year. Next up, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Coyotes again, or the Sens. I'm going Leafs. Give me Pappy. Or... You can give me Max Domi. That's cool too. Drum roll, please. Toronto again, the LA Kings or the Calgary Flames. Give me the LA Kings. We're going to California. All right, I'm fine with that. Trevor Moore, welcome aboard the team. Vancouver. I feel like I already have to... Hmm. Now it got interesting. We just picked from LA. Let's stay in the West and go with the Canucks. Please be good. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this? Next up, we have the Islanders, the Canucks again. You're not gonna fool me twice. And the Mighty Ducks, you know what? The West did me dirty. We're coming back to the East, let's go with the Isles. A former Canuck, Bo Horvat. That's fine with me. Three forwards to go, we get Vancouver again. They just will not leave me alone. And you know what? I feel like it was Tampa Bay on the far right with Stamkos last time we picked Vancouver. So I'm gonna go with it again and hope that it's a rinse and repeat. Yes, let's go! Nikita Kucherov. It was in fact a rinse and repeat. It wasn't Stamkos this time, but I mean, Kuch. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The penultimate forward could be a Red Wing, a Coyote, or a Calgary Flame. I am going with Detroit for the simple fact that they're my dad's favorite team. Kaboomski. Yeah, Joe Valeno. That's all right. Our final player. Give me something great. I almost feel like I have to go with the Penguins and hope it's Sidney the Kidney. Sidney Crosby. New Jersey has great players as well. No, I'm going Pittsburgh. Our last forward is Michael Bunting. I mean, he adds some grit to the team, definitely. So, welcome. We will not be having injuries on, but can still intimidate people and take dumb penalties in the playoffs if we get that far. I do feel like we have a pretty balanced team, so I'm down and it is time to go for defenders. First up, we have Smashville. It could be Roman Yossi. It could be. I'm gonna take that risk. Okay, you know what? Barry's not a terrible consolation prize. Totally down. And now we have the New Jersey Devils. Could it be Dougie? It could be. But you know what? I'm gonna go with the Oilers for the simple fact that Ekholm has been a machine recently. Darnell Nurse is good. Or even Evan Bouchard. Can't see with this in the way, but based on what I'm seeing right now, I feel like I can't regret the pick. Unbelievable. Let's go! New Jersey again. They are back with vengeance, and I am going for... Hmm. New Jersey came up twice in a row. Let's go for the far left. Okay. Shea would have been nice, but Smith is pretty decent. Three defensemen down, three to go. New Jersey again. Give me Charlie McAvoy. Oh my gosh. Or you can give me Hampus Lindholm. I'm not gonna complain. You won't hear a word from me. An ultimate defensive pick. We have... A finally set of players here <laughs> that doesn't belong to New Jersey. I speak broken English. I kind of feel like I've been dodging the Coyotes this entire draft, so... I'm gonna keep it up. Let's go with the Blues. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Our final defender will be a part of the... 
I've already drafted from all these teams. I feel like I have. We actually have a defenseman from Smashville in Tyson Perry and Smith in the New Jersey Devils. So I'm going with the jerks. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what his overall is, but the pick has been made. And then we were left with two players to backstop this team. Don't like that. Pittsburgh and hope it's Jari. And it's not. It is Hellberg. Okay, this second pick is going to be huge. We do have a really solid defensive core, which works in our favor, but still. We need a goalie. We get Calgary, the Jets, and the Sens return. Please be Hellebuck. Please be Hellebuck. No! It's Laurent Brassois. I, I probably butchered that horribly. Um, it's Laurent Broisoit. I feel like he's actually been doing pretty good recently, but I don't know what his overall in the game will be. Like 82, 83, maybe 81. Guess we'll find out. Well, let's head over to NHL 24, build this team and see if we stand a chance. The Tennessee Tomahawks have been born and the team is now put together here in franchise mode. Custom league, 33 teams. So the divisions are all out of whack, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see if we have any good chemistry. If I think we stand a chance at even making the playoffs. Oh yeah. I like what I'm seeing there. We've got two plus threes, two plus ones, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit scared to look at our defense. Normally when the offensive chemistry is amazing, the defensive chemistry is terrible, but maybe not. I shall delay it no longer. Defense. Yeah. It's not horrible though. I honestly thought it would be worse. I think I'm just gonna leave the dash one. I don't know how we are for handedness. Oh wow, we're actually pretty good. And we have now come to my main concern for this team. Goaltending, Laurent, 82 overall, Helberg, 79. Can they get it done? Yeah. Will they? Gonna find out. I would like to say we do have a chance at playoffs. I'll say we get 44 wins and Kucherov gets the most points with 90... Two. I'm just gonna run through the list real quick to make sure that I do have all the right players. It looks good to me, so let's start the simulation. Big opening win against the Jets. We take shootout losses. That's one point. Are we insane? Six, one, and two? Get out of here, Central Scout. Don't think I asked for you to jump in. We've fallen off a little bit here. 11, 10, and four. Not ideal. Whenever I hear the word Tomahawk, I just immediately think of Call of Duty Black Ops. I don't know if I should think of Chicago's mascot or not, but I don't. We started so well, what happened? Oh, I know what it is. I got confident. There we go. Explains everything. Stop doing that. Playoffs definitely not looking likely at this point. We do have Linus Allmark on the block. That would be beautiful, but we got to run with the team I drafted. We could have had John Tavares in that draft as well. We just beat the Rangers that were like 42 and 20, and then we lose three games in a row. Finally a dub. Okay. On a bit of a rip there. Five straight wins. We lose to the Flyers, but bounce back with a win. No, nah, we're sixth. And it looks like it's already locked in. So... Oh. What just happened? I am feeling a little bit under the weather, but my voice just straight up quit. Like, that was nuts. Because this isn't a fantasy draft, I'm just going to sim the playoffs. Doesn't really matter too much. We'll go look at all the stats after. Your Stanley Cup champions are the New York Islanders. Holy crap, Joseph. 91 points? We wound up sixth in our division. The Columbus Blue Jackets won our division. President's Trophy goes to the Edmonton Oilers. I want to see where we finished in the entire league because I feel like we couldn't have been that bad. Oh, never mind. We were pretty poo. 23rd. Yeah. Joe Pavelski was a plus two, 91 points, and went up to 90 overall. What an absolute crazy man. Kucherov was 97. Couldn't even get point a game. Are you kidding me? 62 points from Horvat, and then a 10 point drop off to Domi and a couple of 51s. I guess goaltending wasn't horrible. Wasn't good, but it could have been a lot worse. Barry had 36 points, Lindholm 33, Ekholm 27. Yeah, it's average. Igor had the most wins by quite a bit here. Eight up on Darcy Kemper and a 907 save percentage while doing it. But how about Vili Huso? A 923? Great season from Adam Fox. 95 points was a plus 12. Plus 22 for Quinny boy. And McDavid wins probably the art and the heart. Does not win the Rocket Richard though. I see Kucherov down there with 55, but it's not our Kucherov. Just ridiculous playoff performances from both of these guys. 935 and 937. I was so confused how there was two Eastern teams here, but then I realized that it was the custom division thing, so... Mystery solved. Noah Dobson had 21 points in 25 games played. Victor Hedman, 20 and 22. And then a significant drop off to Pulak. Oh, of course. 
Horvat and Kucherov, two players that are on our team and a player that could have been on our team, I think, right? Connor does get the art in the heart. No surprise there. Fox wins the Norris, and the Lady Bing is going to Jesper Bratt. Bedsy with the Calder, as you do. Bo Horvat getting the Con Smythe, because of course. Vili Husso scoops up the Vezina and the Jennings, absolutely deserved. Gudis gets the Masterton, the Jack Adams goes to Fowler. O'Reilly with the Selkie. McDavid grabs one final trophy, and then we have Kucherov with the Rocket Richard. Here's the playoff tree that actually looks pretty cool, but this is what they do for the custom leagues. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you have other draft ideas, be sure to let me know. If you could like and subscribe, that would be super heat. I appreciate you as always, and I will see you soon.